All right, it was rumors that the New Orleans Saints were going to cut offensive lineman Larry Warford, used to play for the Detroit Lions. He's made the Pro Bowl uh, three straight years in a row for New Orleans from, you know, Detroit. And we didn't want to bring him back because he had a little bit of an injury history. But let's talk about it. Motor City Sports Talk, we in the building. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, bell icon button, share the video. Should the Lions bring him back? It's an easy yes for me. They got the cap space. They got a whole bunch of guards that may or may not pan out. We know Wiggins and Dow, they ain't nothing. All right, uh, the dude from Wisconsin, we don't know if he developed. And then they can start Stenberg and Jonah Jackson. They are rookies. All right, go ahead and add Drew Pro Bowler at right guard, okay? Go ahead and add Drew. The Saints just didn't want to pay this guy. He's a Pro Bowl guy. When he on the field healthy, he played well. Uh, he played last two seasons, he's played 15 games and then I think 14 games. But he's played double-digit games uh, each of his last, his, all the seasons. I think the low for him was 13 games for the Lions. But I, it's easy bring him back. Dude can uh, get out and move. He's a good run blocker, good all-around guy. You can add another pro bowler to your interior next to Frank Ragnall. Um, right then and there with Big V at right tackle. Your, your right side or if you put Warford on the right or left side, if you put him on the right, you should have some success in opening up some holes for Swiss Johnson, Bro Scarborough, and Tyler Johnson. You should be able to... Uh, you don't have those holes open, man. So, to me, it's a no-brainer, bro. Bring Larry Warford in. Uh, bring him back. Put him on that guard. If, you know, he can't, if Steinberger or, you know, Jonah Jackson or whoever vying for them guard position can't hack it, then, you know, you have an insurance policy with him. You know, but if they are good, you know what I'm saying, you know, then you can you can really plug one of them at left guard or what, what, however they want to do it. I think they would plug at left guard. And then down the road, you can, you know, you know, do something else with Larry Warford and you can plug them in kind of with his contract up. But the Lions need to upgrade in the line. And this is a blessing right now. They should be on the horn with Larry Warford and hashing out a contract. If they going into this offseat into the season, playing Chicago, Green Bay, Minnesota, who all has tremendous pass rushing rushers. The Saints got a good defense. The Colts got a good defense. The Redskins line on paper look look bananas. With Sweat, Allen, Payne, and Chase Young, the number uh, number two overall pick this draft. We can just keep going on and on. Also, you got to see Indominus Sue. You know, why not go ahead and get an insurance policy and plug Warford in at guard? And that your offensive line looks a lot better with Larry Warford at guard and Ragnow in the interior and Big V at right tackle. If Big V can be an upgrade from, from uh, Rick Ragnar at right tackle, then you in the game. And then Jonas Jackson and Steinberger, Steinberg. The two rookies can battle it out for the left guard position with Glasgow and Dow. And then you hope that Taylor Decker is able to hold up and, and run and pass protection. But this is a no-brainer. This is a move that the Lions failed to make um, last year. They surprised us going out there and getting a value deal of Mike Daniels. Go ahead and pay Warford what he worth. It ain't too, it ain't too many offensive linemen out there that got his credentials. And he already familiar with the, with Detroit. So, you know, he was with the Lions with the old jerseys, I believe. He was a Mayhew pick, a LeJuan pick. This is a no-brainer. You bring him in. You plug him in. Do you feel comfortable with Matthew Stafford? Let me ask this question. If you feel comfortable with Matthew Stafford coming off two back injuries and you feel comfortable with two guards, you know, two rookie guards, you know, occupying those spots at, in the interior, I don't. It's an instant upgrade with Warford and Ragnall, and you should be able to open a whole bunch of lines lanes on the right side left side decker ain't that good blocking but if jonah jackson and stenberger can 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 man the left side with decker and they can get some push some push going over there this can be the ticket that the lions need to really open the floodgates for their running game so this is my opinion on this man it's a big yes for me like i would already have a contract they got 30 million in cap what better way than get him a nice little deal you know but teams gonna be vying for him you know, but I would definitely bring this dude back. I match with almost any offer any team gonna give him because we need to continue to protect Stafford and this is an instant upgrade. But we see if Bob Quinn move like his job on the line. If not, he drag his feet on it. It is what it is, man. Motor City Sports Talk, let me know what you think. Guess the uh Warford coming back. No for Warford coming back in the comment section. Don't forget we on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Reach out if you have a business question, quiet response, video request, all the links in the description. Want to make a donation, cash out, PayPal is there. One time for the one time. It's your boy CJ Goodfellow, Motor City Sports Talk. We gone.